Oh, where's our hype music? Hello, Hello everybody. I'm used to saying good morning, but welcome to Fitness Fridays. With, In the afternoon. It's the afternoon edition. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to Fitness Fridays with Tina and Mia today, or this evening. Michael's bounced again. Michael's out again. Out again. So we are we are coming to you live at five p.m. today because at seven a.m. I was teaching. I was working this morning, so we wanted to make sure that we still got a fitness Friday in for y'all. And what did we want to talk about today, Mia? Mia wanted the to join me. Big change that my mom posted on Facebook. We made a big announcement this week, didn't we? Yes, we are. What moving. was the announcement? We're moving. Not just anywhere. We're moving to Texas. We're moving to Texas, y'all. I've been saying y'all a lot, but I've always said that. It's you guys. Um, it's you guys. You, <laughs> it's... you all. So we did. We made that announcement um, with um, on Facebook, and I think we did it on all of our social. We made it. We sent an email out um, on Tuesday that the Senna family is indeed moving to. Um, New Braunfels, Texas, which is right outside of San Antonio. We're about 20 minutes outside of San Antonio, um, 40 minutes outside of Austin. Everybody's been asking me a ton of questions this week, but I want to just say we have gotten a tremendous, tremendous amount of love and support. Like I wasn't expecting. I was actually really nervous and scared for the last week to even make this announcement because I was so upset that people were going to be mad at me. But um, so there's been a lot of angst, uh, going on here in the sun to make that we were in fact moving, but I, I just, I've said, uh, again, all the love and support that's been coming our way, um, since the announcement. So, um, all your text messages, all of your messenger messages, all of your Facebook love, um, Instagram, I just, I can't even thank y'all enough, like super blessed beyond. Um, we wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about what's happening so okay Mia's gonna step away she's gonna step off camera for one moment but she will she did inform me she'll be back um so a lot of the questions that we've been getting have been um you know what are we gonna do there <laughs> why are we moving um we are we are in um man we're in a big transition in our life but Michael has been um given an opportunity to work side by side over the last two years with a uh, most phenomenal CBD company called Pure Canaceuticals, and they're out of Oklahoma. So, <laughs> however, I would move to Texas because I do have family in Texas, and I love that state. It's one of my favorite places. Um, and that's, you know, it's about a six-hour drive, so I'm like, you know, if you would make that commute, I would consider it. But when you say things like that, you don't... And, Y'all, this was a year ago, so I was like, you know, kind of a pipe dream. The job wasn't really a for sure thing anyway, so, um, but with that being said, things started to kind of unfold and transpire, um, and then I actually got a little bit more, um, involved with CBD just because I think, as you guys know, um, you know, we are entrepreneurs looking to always help others. We've been in, and it's always been our goal to just help others get better physically and mentally. So as we got more involved with CBD, we realized all of the great things it was doing for our clients, for our friends, for our family. So, um, come on back in me. So we, um, we, I mean, help all these people with CBD. I mean, we've, we've gotta, we've gotta do it. Um, so I got a little bit more involved just with trying to educate people because there's so many people that don't know about CBD or what it really does. Um, I'm not going to talk to anybody about that today, but long story short, things have just been unfolding over the last year um, for different opportunities, things that we didn't even know were going to come up. So with that being said, it was kind of finalized that, um, I don't know, maybe about a month ago that um, Michael and I have the opportunity to open up our own refinery and it can be in Texas, which is crazy. Um, so that's in fact what we're gonna be working on when we get there. Now Michael will work on it more so than myself. I will be assisting, but I will still be very heavily involved in fitness as that is my true love and passion. Um, I will have a 
fit to a tee clothing line coming out so y'all will be catching um, some information on that and then Mia and I are working on expanding our whole heart foods line so we're gonna have even more sweet treats available to everybody um, coming up so I think by the fall we're gonna have some great new products to introduce to everybody that we're super excited about now some of the questions um, some of the other questions that I've been getting is um, have been how does Mia feel about moving so Mia is not happy about moving can you jump on and talk to everybody? I don't want to move. She doesn't want to move. But we do have this amazing in-ground pool in Texas that we got for Mia. <laughs> so it is going to be tough. And that's what we kind of wanted to talk to everybody about too. This is not coming um, easily for us. Um, is it exciting? Yes. But is it going to be super challenging? Yes. Um, most challenging thing for me is going to be saying goodbye to all my peeps because um, I'm not good at goodbyes. <laughs> and um, I've been running my own um, fitness facility for how many years, Mia? Um, uh, maybe eight years? Yeah, for a long time. So, um, I've built this tremendous community of clients that I am, I could tell you every single one of them's first and last name, I think Mia could too. And the day I met them and um, I could talk to you all about their fitness journeys and um, all the great things that are them. So it's gonna be really, really hard for me to leave all of my people. Um, it's gonna be um, really hard for Mia, I know, to leave her community of people. Um, it's gonna be really hard. Oh, we just got an interruption. It's gonna be really hard for me to leave my hairdresser. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to leave. Um, what else? Yeah. Oh, she went. She went silent on me. Her friends. Her friends. So, can you give a shout out to your friends? Give a shout out to them. They're waiting for you. Mm. Alexa. Hi, Bree. <laughs> Bree's your friend. Look, Bree works watching you. Hi. Hi, Bree. So we just wanted to come on today to just, um, again, just reiterate to everybody that um, this is a big, this is a big move coming up for us. Um, we are going to be here in Indiana until the middle of July. I would love everybody to come and work out with me. Uh, look, Brie, Mia, she loves you. Mm -hmm. We would love everybody to come work out with me before I leave. Um, book some classes at Midwest. Come on in uh, and see us. And um, we just, we really just wanted to get on today to tell everybody that we are so grateful for all the love and the support and that we will be here in town. We wanted you to know what we were gonna be doing when we got there. We wanted you to know that we're still gonna be um, very involved in social media. So I will be checking in with everybody. I'll be um, around doing, we're probably gonna even be doing more lives um, from Texas so we can keep in touch with everyone and um, what else, Mia, did you want to say? Mia wanted to talk to you about the challenges of of having an empty refrigerator when she gets to her new house. Can you at least just talk to you about that? Yeah. Um, okay, that was like her main concern, was that she's going to go to a house with an empty refrigerator, right? Yeah. So Mia's really concerned about trying to find the local grocery store. <laughs> Because we're in the country and we're 20, 30, 40 minutes away. I don't from, think we're that far. Yeah, we are. We are like 15 minutes away from, no, I think, like the closest grocery minutes, store, though, for real. From like, minutes, we're moving to the hill country. 30 so in, minutes. For real, we're in the hills. Um, is it? I don't minutes. think it's 30 minutes. I think it's like 15 for no, real. It's not. She's more stressed, I think, about just finding the closest Target, um, which may also be about 15 minutes away. But 30 minutes. Um, we wanted to, again, thank everybody for all the love and the support. If you have any other questions for me, please feel free to ask away. Um, we will be here again until middle of July. Um, love you too, Melissa. And yes, it is time. I've always said this to my clients, to my friends, to my family. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And this is probably one of our greatest challenges, but the more 
the harder the challenge, I think the greater you need that change. So I've been taking it um, instead of um, instead of resisting it, which I've been doing for a long time, I've just decided to embrace the challenge um, and know that it's because God needs me to make a change. So with that being said, um, it's always been in my heart to help people um, and to love on people. And I think um, I don't want to do that with just hundreds of people or thousands of people. I'd love to do it with millions of people. So I'm hopeful and prayerful that this is going to be an opportunity to do just that as we move on. Um, but again, um, what else would we like to say? She had a whole thing. I keep, I keep going back to her cause she had this whole thing planned out and now thing. she's gone like radio silent on me. Um, so. I didn't have a whole thing. Um, no, nothing. What else do you have? Any parting words for our peeps? Mm -hmm. You don't know? So. Everybody that we love them. And we we love you. We appreciate you. We everybody very much. And but we are here till mid July. So please look us up. Try to get together with us. Mia um, would love to see everybody. Right? She would like to have a party. I think we're gonna have a party. She's definitely having an end of year party. We're having an end of year party at Midwest. So for fourth grade. If if you're in my VP yet, please RSVP. There's. Thanks, Kelly. There's like eight, nine days left. Eight or nine days left. You got an RSVP. We're having a big end of the year bash for Mia Senna. Um, okay, y'all. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Change is good. Time to grow. Um, I'm here for you always. Love you all. And we will be at Midwest waiting for you to come work out with me. <laughs> Love you guys.